Scene Script. Welcome to Intelligent Journey, where we explore the fascinating intersection of information, technology, knowledge, artificial intelligence, fun, travel, and history. Have you ever wondered what it takes to change the course of history, to carve a new nation out of an old one? Let's explore the life of a man who did just that, Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Please support us and subscribe, like, share. The last quarter of the 19th century, on a Christmas day, in the bustling city of Karachi, a child was born who was destined to change the fate of an entire subcontinent. This child was none other than Muhammad Ali Jinnah. In his early years, Jinnah was drawn towards the field of law. His keen intellect and sharp wit made him a natural at it. He moved to London to study law and upon his return, quickly became a successful lawyer. But destiny had a much bigger role for him to play. Jinnah's legal career was but a stepping stone, preparing him for the mammoth task that lay ahead. The courtroom was his training ground, where he honed his skills in argument and persuasion. A successful lawyer, Jinnah was soon to step onto a larger stage, one that would change the fate of millions. Jinnah's entry into politics was a turning point, not just in his life, but in the history of the Indian subcontinent. A lawyer by profession, Jinnah's foray into politics began with his membership in the Indian National Congress. A party that was at the forefront of the Indian independence movement, it was here that Jinnah honed his political prowess and developed a reputation as a man of principle. However, Jinnah's political journey took a significant turn when he shifted his allegiance to the All India Muslim League. The year was 1916, a time when the voice of the Muslim minority in India was barely a whisper in the clamour of the independent struggle. Jinnah's move to the Muslim League was not merely a change of party, but an affirmation of his commitment to ensure that this voice was heard. As a leader of the Muslim League, Jinnah's political philosophy evolved. He became a staunch advocate for a separate Muslim state within India. His belief was rooted in his conviction that the Muslim minority needed a space where they could practice their religion freely without fear of marginalization. It was a vision that was bold, audacious, and fraught with challenges. However, Jinnah was not a man to be daunted by obstacles. His calm demeanor belied a steely resolve and an unwavering commitment to his cause. He was a skilled negotiator, a brilliant orator, and a man of great integrity. His ability to persuade others to his point of view was remarkable, and he used this skill to rally support for his vision. Jinnah's political journey was not an easy one. He faced opposition, criticism, and even threats to his life. But he remained steadfast, refusing to be swayed from his path. His tireless efforts eventually led to the Lahore Resolution in 1940, where he outlined his vision for a separate Muslim state, a key moment that set in motion the creation of Pakistan. Jinnah's political acumen and relentless pursuit of his vision set the stage for a monumental change. His journey serves as a testament to the power of conviction, courage, and unwavering commitment to one's beliefs. 1947 marked the realization of Jinnah's dream, but it was only the beginning of a new journey. This was the year when the world map was redrawn and a new country emerged, Pakistan, a separate homeland for Muslims of the Indian subcontinent. Jinnah, the man behind this monumental achievement, had played a pivotal role in its creation. With his unwavering determination and his knack for negotiation, he had managed to convince the British rulers of India to partition the territory, carving out a new nation based on religious lines. The creation of Pakistan was not without its challenges. There were disagreements over borders, mass migrations and violent clashes. However, Jinnah's leadership was the beacon of hope that guided the nation through these tumultuous times. His calm demeanor and his ability to make tough decisions in the face of adversity were truly remarkable. Upon the creation of Pakistan, Jinnah took on the role of the first governor general. It was a position of immense responsibility and Jinnah rose to the occasion. He worked tirelessly to build the newly formed nation, setting up the government, establishing institutions and laying down the foundations for the country's future. Jinnah's vision for Pakistan was of a democratic nation where every citizen had the right to choose their leaders. He believed in the principles of equality and justice and he instilled these values in the fabric of the nation. However, Jinnah's journey with Pakistan was short-lived. He died just a year after the country's creation on September 11, 1948. 
His death was a great loss for the nation, but his legacy lived on. Despite his untimely death in 1948, Jinnah's impact on the nation he helped create was indelible. He had laid the groundwork for a democratic Pakistan, and his principles continue to guide the nation. His vision, his leadership, and his unwavering dedication to the cause of Pakistan are a testament to his greatness. His legacy is etched in the hearts of the Pakistani people, and he is fondly remembered as the father of the nation. More than seven decades after his death, Jinnah's legacy continues to inspire millions. A brilliant orator, a skilled negotiator, and a man of great integrity, Muhammad Ali Jinnah left an indelible mark not just on the history of Pakistan, but on the world stage. Jinnah's legacy is multifaceted, embodying his contributions as a statesman, a visionary, and a staunch advocate of democracy. His belief in the people's right to choose their own leaders was unwavering, and this democratic principle continues to be a cornerstone of Pakistan's political landscape. The father of the nation, as he is fondly remembered, Jinnah's speeches still echo in the hearts and minds of Pakistanis. One of his most famous addresses is his speech to the Constituent Assembly of Pakistan on August 11, 1947. Here, he championed the importance of religious freedom, equality, and impartial governance. His words urged the people of Pakistan to work collectively for a prosperous future, and they continue to resonate today, serving as a guiding beacon for the nation. Another pivotal moment in Jinnah's legacy is his address to the Muslim League in 1940. Known as the Lahore Resolution, this speech outlined his vision for a separate Muslim state, a vision that would ultimately lead to the creation of Pakistan. This speech, like many others he delivered, was a testament to his gift as an orator and his unwavering belief in his vision. Jinnah's impact on Pakistan extends beyond his speeches. His tireless efforts in realizing the dream of a separate Muslim state his dedication to creating a democratic nation and his commitment to upholding the principles of equality and freedom are all part of his enduring legacy. Despite his passing just a year after the creation of Pakistan, Jinnah's influence remains deeply ingrained in the nation's psyche. His vision continues to inspire generations, guiding them towards a future where they can live freely and in harmony. Muhammad Ali Jinnah, remembered as a great leader, a visionary, and the father of the nation changed the course of history with his courage, determination, and unwavering belief in his vision. If you like video, please support us and subscribe, like, share.